Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today, finally, I'm going to film and share with you the planners and journals that I plan to use in 2020. I will share with you the physical books and then I will get into the various covers that I am housing them in. So let's start off with planners because I only have these three here. I have a lot more journals uh, over here on this side. Uh, so let's start off with just planners. The first thing, or the first planner is this one here. It's the Nolte, oh gosh, I don't remember. If I, re oh, it's the Nolte 1180. And it is my on the go, everyday carry. It houses uh, my plans for the month, like the monthly shot. So I will share with you, for example. So for example, right here, um, it has the monthly view. I absolutely always, always need a monthly overview. Uh, when I am out and I need to schedule something in, especially um, doctor visits or dentists or just in, in general, I like to have this with me. And I just kind of quickly jot down any important dates. And then here, so it's a neat feature there. Uh, you kind of tear away the corners that are finished. But anyways, it brings you right to the weekly. And I still struggle with this format. I thought it would be very interesting to try out. I thought I would be practicing my journal, uh, no, sorry, my Japanese kanji in here, but it's I haven't done it at all. But it's there anyways. I kind of thought about trying like fun journaling in here but because it is an everyday carry I really don't want it but because it is an everyday carry I don't want it to bulk up so I I'm just gonna leave it as is it's very compact and I am so I'm going to share with you the cover I am housing this one in here this is a um, lady falcon traveler she's actually rebranded to falcon travelers right there and oh, I really, really like this so, so much. I enjoy this clasp, the snap closure, very, very much. It just has one of her inserts in here that she's included uh, with the leather tag. But yes, I simply pass this through one of the elastics. And although it is slightly bigger than the passport size, you could probably fit this in a field notes size cover. I just really like Monique's cover so much that I can't see. I don't know if you can see, it's like right on the edge. I think if you take it out of this plastic pla uh, sleeve, it should be okay. But I, it's right on the edge and it doesn't bother me and it's perfect. And the pen that I use is usually uh, friction because sometimes appointments get canceled and I like to kind of erase them. <laughs> oh, I really, really like this so, so much. I was keeping a folder in here as well, but I took that out. It just, uh, I really want to keep it very light and minimal. Um, but yeah. Really, really like this. So there's my everyday carry. I usually carry it in my backpack. Um, yeah, this, so that's that. That's the first planner. This, the second one here is a social media planner, mainly for YouTube videos, scratching down ideas for videos and uh, scheduling and editing and things like that. So this is the B6 Slim by Midori here, Midori MD Paper, and it's very simple. I will share with you the cover that I house it in. But I really like this because, once again, it has the monthly glance. I, yeah, I, I, I like to, let me show you an example. So as an example here, we have January. I have these uh, masking dots from Stalogy. And I just kind of mark off the videos that I have already posted. This column here, or this section here, I write down the videos I'm, I've already started editing or it's in the process of editing. These are the ones that I really want to film. I said, it says here to film and look at my notes. So I still have some um, ideas kind of scribbled down on, on the line pages here. 
and yeah it's very it's a very very simple planner but it really works for me I really enjoy this kind of monthly shot at the videos because I know okay this month or this week I only did one video last week I did two like I, I like I really like having the monthly view in terms of looking at the videos for YouTube So that's my YouTube, I guess YouTube planner or social media planner. I really like uh, Chelsea. She is those with words. She is also using this like line. I, I kind of struggle with this line, these lines here, but she has, I think most recent post. Anyways, I will leave her Instagram below because she has an example of how she's used it and it looks so good, but I just don't think I'll be able to do that or keep up with it. But I really, really like. It's just very simple and it's not too big because I don't have like a huge, uh, I, I'm not, I don't have a lot of things that I need to write, uh, write down and yeah, it's just a nice compact size. So there's the B6 Slim Midori or MD paper and I house it in a cover with my Hobonichi Weeks. This is my work planner. It's very small but I really want it to work. So I can't really share much, unfortunately, but I, once again, absolutely need this monthly view. I schedule in my appointments, exhibitions, um, shipping dates, all those kinds of things. I also do schedule in like important appointments, medical appointments in here. I know I have this, but I still want to be able to kind of cross-reference and things like that if I'm, yeah, I just like to have personal appointments in here as well. And then of course, and then of course the weekly, I, yeah, I struggle with the size. I really think it's very small. It's, it's very cramped. I write per line and I don't know, I, I can't really show much, but yes, it is very small. I have post-its sticking here and there because I, I've run out of space, but I really want this to work because I just really like it because it's compact and I could try out the Mega Weeks but I don't think I need that much writing paper. I have a, I've, I purchased the Supplemental Weeks Notes, is that what the, is that what the official <laughs> name is? The three pack with the, the week size. I purchased that if I want to have extra notes on the side but it's just the weekly things I need to do. I I have I find that it's quite tight, but I'm gonna make it work as for as long as I can. And if it's driving me crazy, then I'll switch. Uh, but for the time being, I really really like it. I've used this weeks since last year. I don't think I did the whole of last year, unfortunately. But yes, so I have that. I just have these little tabs are from Traveler's Company. They are from the sticker, the 2019, like the yearly sticker bundles that they t uh, t bring out every year. These are just from those. Um, and I think this is the smaller version, the ones that are meant for the passport size, but it's perfect. I have this one information and I've used this quite frequently. I know some of you don't use like the centimeters, but I, I've really actually found this quite useful. Uh, especially when I'm out and I need to measure something, like if I need to measure a notebook, if I'm looking uh, for some stationary items and I need to measure something for the boxes, <laughs> I found this ruler to be quite um, useful. And so I've tabbed it here so that I can refer to it anytime. So I house these two together in my... So I house these two together in my Apple Pig Traveler's Notebook. I have a video of this and I will, if I remember to, I will post it somewhere up here or somewhere down below. But it has these secretarial pockets. I I did keep my ningajos, my uh, postcards from friends and things. I did keep them in here. You can see this line, I think it's developed because my notebook, this notebook here sits right at the edge. This is supposed to be a B6 slim, but it's quite big. Well, I, I need to double check. Maybe I did order a B6. I'm not 100% sure, but I usually just kind of slide the 
because this, um, I don't know if you can hear that, it's quite sturdy. I don't feel that it's really going to break or anything. I just slide that in there. So I don't know if you can see the edge meets right at this line. So I think this rubbing, the, the friction is causing this line. But it's not, it's not really bothering me, so that's okay. I just have a map of the subway lines and things and I always tell myself oh I might need to refer to it but I never actually do <laughs> like how are you supposed to find oh let's say okay I'm going to go to this station like how are you supposed to find it <laughs> especially for me I cannot even read the kanji is this upside down oh my gosh it's upside down <laughs> I I this is like this is crazy <laughs> But anyways, I have it in here with the additional um, little masking stickers for the YouTube videos. And then in here, I usually keep some pens in here. Um, yeah, and then in here I keep some business cards, some sticky notes, and some page flags. I really like this like compartment right here. It's perfect. And I really like the, um, when I take this out, it's actually quite lightweight. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's, it feels very light. I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, uh, why it is, but it just feels very light to me. So there's that. And then I stick this one in here. There's two other elastics in the middle, but I don't overstuff it. And I know the weeks is a little too tall but it's like just right on the edge just right on the edge like that and maybe um, eventually the 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 cover will kind of damage the elastic but that's okay I can always change out the elastics and that's what it looks like usually when I'm on my desk I don't even close this I just kind of have it like this and it's very yeah I don't know maybe Maybe this is a B6 and not a B6 Slim. But I have my pen that I use right here. This is the Friction. I I don't know what it is, but lately I've been really into Friction. I, I like to erase things. <laughs> if something is cancelled, instead of just crossing it out, I like to erase it so that it doesn't get too messy. So it just sits like that. And so that is my planner, my work planner, and my social media planner. So those are the three planners that I use regularly, like on a daily basis. So I'll leave those here like that. So let's get into journals. Okay, <laughs> I am, I have several journals and then I have one journal that's kind of like um, off to the side. But anyways, let's start with, start off with the Hobonichi. This is the Hobonichi Cousin in the Avec style, so it is the thinner half-year version. I have been, sorry, let me just move this a little bit over. I have been really enjoying it. I don't use these pages right here, and I haven't really been using the monthly, but I've been trying my best to use the weekly, just writing down gratitude, positive things, things like that. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I've been doing the daily ones here. Let me just quickly do a flip through of the, yes, of my Hobonichi. I'm almost caught up, not exactly, but almost there. Yes, so there's that. I, I really, really like the cousin size. I know it's intimidating at first, but I really I have I don't feel like going back at all to the A6. I know A6 is very nice and compact, but I've been really enjoying it. But yes, so this is the Hobonichi Cousin in the Avex style for I guess daily journaling or daily art journaling in a way. So there's that. Let me put this to the side. Oh, I use the pen that came this year as a freebie. I also use my fountain pen here that I received uh, as a Christmas birthday gift from my husband. So that's the, I use this daily for my weeks and like the weekly view here. 
and um, sometimes I use this one as well. Let's put this guy up here. <laughs> okay, and then I have, let's just do this one. This is the Hobonichi 5 year. It is really just personal stuff. I don't do anything. I just write in here. I don't stick any photos or anything. It's just really personal things. And sometimes it's just something that's positive. Sometimes it's negative. Sometimes it's things that I learned about myself or... Yeah, it's just whatever's on my mind. I know at times I feel that it's repetitive because I'm doing that a bit in here, but I really want to be able to look at in a snapshot um, this. Like, I feel like this is like a snapshot look at what happened in the day, or it could be totally something different. Um, but yes, it is from last year. I purchased it end of last year, I think. So yeah, this part here is totally blank. Uh, but very, very excited to continue with this every day. Next is my passport. I guess this, these two are more like junk journaling. So these two are more like uh, travel journal, junk journal type of things. I think I will be rotating sizes in terms of junk journals. I will try one size and then the next one I will try like a different size. So it will be like all over the place. <laughs> but for the time... The current time I, w I am journaling in here and in here it depends on my mood, uh, what I feel like. And I think that's okay. You don't have to start with one journal and finish that journal before starting something else, right? I think, right? I don't know. <laughs> I hope you are the same way because I am always changing my mind and always wanting to try different sizes. And I, I think that's so fun. And I, for me, it's I really enjoy it. So I... I continue to do that but this one here is a handmade you can see here with all the different papers it's a handmade journal and uh, this is from the stationary bento box from Shelly I have kind of already started uh, pre-decorating some of the pages there's been some days I just want to glue things down some stamp some things down so I um, kind of started doing that already yeah, so there's the passport size. And this one, I store it in my passport size traveler's notebook from Traveler's Company. Um, this, oh, this is the Midori version. So it just says Midori made in Thailand. I This is um, a gift from my husband. So I decided to get it stamped with my initials and two rivets from Bam Kuhen. Yes, so I keep this one. Right here in the middle. It's I really like the passport size. It's just so compact and I don't know, I really like the passport size. I'm always fluctuating. I like this, I like that. <laughs> but it sits like that. It sticks out a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I don't really take it out with me. It's, it's sitting with me at home for the most part. I want to add some charms uh, here. So I did purchase some items from the Traveler's Factory in Tokyo, Nakameguro. I... Oh, I haven't edited that. I need to... I filmed some videos and I really need to get to editing uh, so that I can share with you that video. But anyways, there's the passport-sized junk journal or... It's not really... Well, I guess it is a junk journal, but anyways, so there's that passport size right there. And then this one right here is the regular size traveler's notebook. This is the Narita edition. You can only purchase this cover from Narita Airport in Japan. And this is what the back looks like. This one is also customized uh, from Bam Kuhen. I purchased the leather secretarial pocket here and with the two rivets. I tend to bring uh, my traveler's notebooks with me to the various stores, the traveler's factory stores. There's three of them. One in Narita, one in Tokyo Station, and one in Nakameguro. That's the flagship store. And when I do, I like to stamp my notebook. Uh, I usually stamp it in the middle. So there's one here. Maybe it's kind of hard to see. There's the Narita Airport stamp. I stamped in, in the inside. There's one here that says Travelers 
kind of hard to see, but there's one here. I'm not sure if I stamped, no, I haven't. So I have this huge canvas still left that I can stamp the next time I'm at the um, shops. I just do one stamp, I don't do too many because then it's, I get really excited when I'm able to stamp and uh, it, I don't know, I just, it just, it's really exciting for me. So in this one, I tend to keep my traveler's notebooks quite slim. Like I don't like to include too much because they end up getting really big and bulky. So this one just has the folder, the craft folder with some paper bits and some washi samples. I've stamped it as well. I'm not sure if there's any, well, there's some there. Uh, there's some space here that I can also stamp. And then it has the half size refill. Uh, the half size refill I think is limited to the Traveler's Factory stores, unfortunately. But I do like them because they're nice and um, they're small. And Eva, I met with Eva. So she did this beautiful journaling spread here when I met up with her. And then this one, I will post the link down below, but I did a, like a journal with me session with you um, with these pages here. Yeah, so it's very, very simple. Like I said, I get really bored easily. Not bored, but I get excited to try new sizes. So I do like the fact that these uh, notebooks are half size. And then I, fin I feel very accomplished. <laughs> I, fe I feel very good when I finish a notebook and then I can go on to the next size or the next one. So there's that for my travel journal or junk journal whenever I feel like it. And then one last mention that I want to do is this one right here. This is the Lookal, or maybe this one is a Lorite. Uh, they're the same company. Oh, this is the Lorite one. And I house my kids' notebooks in here. I don't journal every day, but I do um, dedicate one field note size notebooks for my kids. And yeah, I really like this dark night leather. I was housing this in here but it's quite tight and it was not a good fit so I, I need to order an A6 five year Hobonichi from Diamond uh, from La Right or La Cal. but I'm really debating I don't know if I want to do another Dark Knight or he has these new pink leathers out but I really like this leather I I don't know what it is I don't I'm not sure if I'm in like a like a dark leather phase but because I tend to gravitate more towards like the neutrals, like the lighter colors, like the browns and the neutrals. And I haven't really been into the black leather, but this, there are, I have a confession. There are days I'm just kind of holding it and I just hold it. <laughs> oh my gosh, so embarrassing. And I don't, I'm just holding it and I don't even end up journaling in my kids' notebooks. <laughs> are you the same way? Anyways, I really, really like this Dark Knight. He's thinned it down a little bit for me, but I'm, I might try just the regular uh, width next time if I end up getting it for this one. But like I said, I'm kind of debating on which leather to choose. So yes, this is, I guess this is a, well, it is a journal. Um, but yeah, I, I don't journal in it every single day. So that is the update of my journals and planners that I use almost on a daily basis. Um, I know this video is probably really long, but I did I I I struggle because I'm always always changing my mind. I want to somehow make this all fit, but it's not going to fit, eh? Um, yes, I struggle because I'm always changing my mind in terms of sizes and I'm always wanting to change things up. For sure I'm not going to change this guy up because it's a daily, um, like the Hobonichis I'm not going to change at all for sure. Um, these ones will always be my like holy grail for sure. Um, but yeah, like I don't know, I'm always wanting to try out different sizes. 
I've been recently wanting to try like an A6 for maybe uh, junk journaling. So I think once I finish one of these ones, I will go into the A6. Um, and then this one, the weeks, I'm really struggling with keeping all of my notes in the week size. It's very squished and it's it looks really chaotic. So I'm not sure if that's the best thing for me for work. Um, but I, it's such a lovely cover and I really don't want it to go to waste. I spent money on this planner and I really want to make it work. So that's enough rambling. I'm so sorry. I... I enjoy watching these kind of videos about um, people talking about their planners and different sizes. So I hope this was interesting. Uh, please let me know if you're somebody that likes to kind of hug their <laughs> traveler's notebooks as well. <laughs> I'm probably a weirdo. I'm so sorry. Anyways, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.